Daddy, don't look so nervous. I've driven a van before. I'm not worried about the van. Then what? Someone to feed me. Well, I'm your date. Why shouldn't I be the one? Oh, I think our friend Scotty is smitten with your cousin. Well, I hope we don't get too serious. Oh, you mean because he's handicapped? I can't wait till tomorrow. I haven't seen my cousin Diane since she was knee high. I know. Yeah? Well, that's right, I told you, didn't I? Many times. Well, I'm excited, you know, it's family and all. I appreciate you letting me take time to see her. That's uh, no problem. We'll mix a little business with pleasure. What do you mean, we, we got an assignment? Mm-hmm. Hey, do me a favor and pull it up ahead there. I want to make a phone call to an old friend of ours. Yeah, who's that? Scotty. Scotty? You're kidding you me, Scotty from the hospital? Mm-hmm. Well, he's not our assignment, is he? Yeah, he's part of it. Well, I mean, he's all right. There's nothing wrong. So we're gonna find out. Hello? Scotty, Jonathan Smith, your pushy ex-therapist. Jonathan, how are you? Hey, terrific. I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd give you a call. Where are you? A couple hours away. Mark's gonna visit a cousin in town. I thought we could get together. How are you at dinner? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Hey, all right. I'll give you a call tomorrow after we get settled. You got it. Be good to see you. I missed you, buddy. I missed you, too. See you tomorrow, then. See you tomorrow. What's the meaning of this? They're the drawings of the Henley Tower. They have your name on them. Yes, they do. These are my drawings, my specs, everything. Well, they're close. Close? That's like saying identical twins are close. I want to know why your name is on my drawing. If you'll just calm down, I'll explain. You know Carver Henley. 
Of course I know Carver Henley. I have worked on this project for almost a year. I know that. And believe me, I'm sorry I had to do this. But this is a business. And this project is very important to the company. Don't you think I know that? Just hear me out. Carver is an old man from the old school. I realized as we were getting down to the wire that he'd never accept our concept if it came from a woman. Our concept? It's my concept. Now, wait a minute, Diane. I had a lot of input here. If you consider buying drinks and lunches for a client as input, then I'd say you're right. I don't like your attitude. I mean, I'm the one who took a chance on you. And remember? I delivered. My work must be very good or you wouldn't steal it. I don't like the sound of that. I think an apology is in order. So do I. I'm waiting for it. Well, you're gonna have to wait till hell freezes over. I'll have my office cleaned out by the end of the day. Fine. There is one thing, Mr. Kearns, I've been wanting to tell you from the very first moment I met you. You have, without a doubt, the worst breath I have ever smelled. because his father on the firm put on Diane, just shut up. Yeah, Mark? Well, of course it's Mark. Who else would have a face like this, huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, you're gorgeous. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, this is my friend Jonathan, Jonathan Diane. Oh, hi, come on hi, in. Hi, how you doing? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, listen, I know we're a little early. And oh, everything. that's all right. Excuse the mess. Um, quit my job today, so. I was just putting stuff away. What do you mean you quit? You said in your letter you loved your work. What happened to that big project? It's a long story, or an old story. How, how about some coffee? I'll tell you my troubles. Great. Could I use your phone for that? Oh, yeah. Um, it, it's right over there. Thanks a lot. I just want to call Scotty about dinner. Hey, you two are welcome to join us, unless you want to spend the rest of the night reminiscing. It's up to Diane. I think we'll be reminisced out by then. <laughs> anyway, I think I could use some company. Might make me forget my troubles. Yeah, well, I think Scotty's just a ticket for that. How's 8 o'clock? Perfect. Come on in the kitchen. I'll brew us a pot, cousin. So, what happened today? Oh, uh, don't pay any attention if I scream while I'm telling you. <laughs> Hello, Scotty. Yeah, yeah, just great. Uh, how's dinner at 8 o'clock? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Mark loves Chinese food. Hold on one second. Hey, you all like Chinese food? Love it. Chinese food is great. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll meet you there. Yeah, uh, Mark's going to bring his cousin, okay? Yeah. So, in the middle of the chase, it starts to rain, and the police car loses it, slides across the street and hits a parked car. So the officer gets out, starts to write a note to leave in the windshield, when all of a sudden this guy sits up in the front seat smelling of booze and says, Gee, I'm sorry, officer. I didn't even see you. <laughs> oh, no, come on. <laughs> That's enough, Scotty. I'm supposed to be depressed about losing my job, remember? Sorry, I forgot. So did I. I'd like to propose a toast. To the Henley Towers, my first and last design for Kearns and Kearns. May the roof leak. Uh, May the roof leak. May it leak like Kearns. Mm. Uh, Henley Towers, as in Carver Henley? Mm-hmm. I just started doing an independent audit for him. I got the call today. You're kidding. No, I have a meeting with him tomorrow. Want me to mention what happened? I don't think it would do any good, believe me. He grew up with my boss's father. They're like this. It can't hurt to give it a try. Hey, what do you got to lose? Certainly not my job. <laughs> Look, I'll mention it. See his attitude and play it by ear. Okay. Why not? Here's your hors d'oeuvres. Oh, great. Careful, they're hot. Enjoy. Thanks very much. Oh, boys, that smells <laughs> good. Mm -hmm. It's a good place. 
Hey, 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 come on, no fork. Use chopsticks. I can't get the hang of these things. There we go, Scotty. Better blow on it. It's a little hot. Hmm? That's good. Try it. <laughs> Diane. I'm afraid there's two of us that can't eat with chopsticks. You better feed your cousin. Open up. Look who's got it. Look who. Trying to give us a hint when they turned off all the lights. Strictly custom. Can I give anybody a lift? No, I got my own car. Hey, I'll tell you what. Why don't you drop Diane off at her place, and then pick me up over at Scotty's? You got it. Good seeing you, Scotty. Same here. Pleasure to meet you, Diane. I had fun. Me too. I'll give you a buzz, let you know how I made out with Carver. Thanks. Well, good night. Good night. You ready to go, Scotty? Uh, I don't know. For some reason, I'm wired tonight. Jonathan, feel like a walk. A little fresh air might get me sleepy. That sounds good. Let's go. I'll meet you at the apartment, Larry. Right. Take care, Larry. Diane. She sure is a nice girl. Yeah. She's got a good sense of humor, too. Yeah. I talked too much tonight, didn't I? No. Yes, I did. I don't know why. I just kept jabbering. Because I'm like a politician. One laugh, and I don't know when to shut up. Scotty, don't bother asking me any more questions. What? Well, you asked me if you talked too much at dinner tonight. I said no, you say yes. Why ask me a question if you're not going to pay any attention to the answer? Sorry. You're right. You know her long? Oh, I just met her today. Oh. Uh, boy, I sure talked her ear off. Scotty, please. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'll tell you one thing. I know. That Diane sure is a nice girl. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Doing fine. What are you doing around here? I came to see you. What are you doing this afternoon? I was just going out on a job interview. Will you be able to make an appointment at 3 p.m.? I don't know. Carver wants to see you about your plans. What? What did you say to him? It wasn't a hard sell, believe me. He had your original plans on his desk when I came in. My originals? Where did he get them? My boss had them, and he certainly wouldn't let Carver see them. A messenger brought them. Must have been a mistake somewhere. Anyway, he wants to talk. Listen, you better cancel your other appointment. This could be it. Yeah, I'll do it right now. Scotty, keep your fingers crossed for me. How about my eyes? <laughs> Thanks. Mark, I'm going to cancel and I'll be right back. Scotty, I'll call you and let you know how I made out. OK. Hello? Scotty, I got it. I got my building back. Full control. You're kidding. That's great. Great. It's unbelievable. I can't tell you. Well, I, I mean, it's the break of a lifetime. I'm scared to death, but I'm really thrilled. That's wonderful. Scotty, I don't know how to thank you. Hey, thank whoever sent the plans by mistake. Will you just accept my thanks, please? Of course. I hate to hear a woman beg. <laughs> 
So, uh, when do you start? Tomorrow morning. And I even get to pick up my own office furniture. All right. Well, look, I better let you go. You probably got a lot of stuff to get ready for tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, if you get a chance, give me a buzz. Let me know how things are going. Oh, I will. I got a ton of work here on Carver's audit. Oh. Oh, well, um, well, I'll let you go. Thanks again, Scotty. I'm glad I could help. Bye. Yeah, bye. Hello? Look, I, I know you have a lot of work, but, well, I feel like celebrating, and, and, um, well, you're the one responsible, so how about having dinner with me tonight? My treat, though. Well, uh... Well, I, I understand if you can't make it, but, well, at least give me a rain check. Well, my father always said, never put off today what you can do tomorrow, <laughs> and that's not right. <laughs> Uh, what time tonight? Oh, why don't you pick me up at 7.30? Great. Um, Larry will be with me, you know, t to drive, and, uh, see you at 7.30. Oh, don't, don't dress fancy. Uh, see ya. Larry! Larry! You okay, Scotty? Of course I'm okay. I got a date. <laughs> Jonathan! I'm in the bathroom! What for? You were never gonna guess what happened. Your cousin got the job to do the Henley Tower. How'd you know that? Messenger. You did that. You, you took the plans to Carver. Hey, it's the least I could do for the cousin of my best friend. Besides, the Scotty deserves all the credit. Yeah. Boy, she is on cloud nine. She and Scotty are going to dinner tonight to celebrate. Yeah, I know. I'm going with them. You what? I'm going with them to dinner. Well, how come they invited you and not me? Oh, come on. Don't feel bad. They don't know I'm coming yet. I won't be real late. Take it easy. What's going on? I don't know you. You don't know you. My cousin, he goes to dinner with her. He doesn't even eat. So hungry, I could eat a horse. <laughs> That's cute, Jonathan. Cute. Hey, Larry, what's wrong? Oh, Jonathan, it's a damn lift. It won't budge, and I can't find anything wrong. No, it's... Oh, can't you get somebody to come out and take a look at it? Well, not tonight. I already called. I hate to do this, but I better give Scotty the bad news. Hey, look, why don't you let me do it? He might take it easier coming from an old friend. Okay. Matter of fact, why don't you take the night off? I'll stay with him. Oh, I couldn't do that. Why not? I was his attendant at the hospital, remember? I can handle it. Besides, you look like you could use a night off. You sure? Positive. OK, listen, tell Scotty I'm sorry about the van. I will. You have a good time. Thanks. Good night, Jonathan. Good night, Larry. I can't believe you got it fixed. That yeah, must have been a loose wire. I just got lucky. You mean I got lucky? Well, I was sweating bullets. I mean, you promised the lady 730. You hate to mess up. You nervous? About what? Oh, Scotty, come on. Who do you think you're kidding? We've known each other a while, remember? Oh, come on. Just having dinner with her, big deal. I am dying. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I mean, it's been a while. Hell of a long while. Well, everybody's nervous on a first date. Will you stop calling it a date? I helped her out a little, and she's being nice. Kind of saying thank you. Well, she said thank you to you on the phone. Well, yeah, she did. Well, the dinner can't be thank you, because she's already said thank you. Now, I'd definitely call it a date. Yeah, uh, I'll have the ribs and flour. They're both yummy. And you, sir? Uh, do you have anything else besides chicken and ribs? Mm, no, sir, that's it. They're both great. 
sloppy but great. That's why I told you not to dress up. I'll have the ribs then. Mr. Smith? Yes? There's a coffee at the desk. Oh, thanks very much. You better order. I uh, have nothing for me, thank you. I already ate. I'll be right back. Lucky. <laughs> Go ahead. I was just going to say, I'm, uh, I'm glad Jonathan was able to fix the van. That's what I was going to say. <sighs> hey, you two, I'm very sorry about this, but I'm going to have to run. What? Yeah, that was my boss. Something came up. Well, can't you talk him out of it? You don't know my boss. Diane, you know how to drive a van, don't you? Sure. Okay, Scotty, I'll show you where the lift controls are. It's really a cinch. Hey, I'll see you back at your place, Scotty. Hey, hey Jonathan. Scotty, don't look so nervous. I've driven a van before. I'm not worried about the van. Then what? Come on, what? someone to feed me. Well, I'm your date. Why shouldn't I be the one? Don't worry. I've washed my hands. <laughs> time is it? Five of the morning. Where you been? Now, Diane and Scotty didn't get back until two, and we sat around and talked for a while. Then I had to drop Diane back at her place. What do you mean, Diane and Scotty? I thought you were with them. No, I thought they'd have a better time alone. What are you talking about? I think our friend Scotty is smitten with your cousin. You're kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. Well, I hope he doesn't get too serious. But why not? You know, you know. Wouldn't want to see him get hurt, you know. With the... Oh, you mean because he's handicapped? Well, yeah. Nothing could work out between those two. You know that. No, I don't know that. Good night, man. How was your first day? Unbelievable. I didn't get much sleep last night. I thought I'd be dead, but I was a ball of energy. Yeah, Jonathan said you got in pretty late. But why don't we have an early dinner? Oh, can we make it tomorrow night? I already promised Scotty for tonight. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll, uh, I'll cook up some paella. Mwah! Look, I'm gonna run and get ready. Um, you bring Jonathan if you want. Okay. Diane. Yeah? So maybe I'm out of line here, but what is this thing with you and Scotty all of a sudden? What thing? Come on, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, dinner last night, dinner tonight. I like him. You mean you feel sorry for him? No, I mean I like him. He's fun, he's bright. He's a quadriplegic. I noticed that. Look, Mark, uh, we're two people enjoying each other. I wish he wasn't handicapped, but he is. And if he wasn't, maybe he wouldn't be the same person. I appreciate your concern. But I'm a big girl now, and I know what I'm feeling. And it isn't pity. I gotta run. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.
You know, I could picture myself married to you. You what? You heard me. Yeah, well, I could. Why not? Because, come on, you're not serious. I'm being very serious. Why not? Don't you see? You have to spend the rest of your life taking care of me. I thought that's what husbands and wives do. They take care of each other. I can't even, I can't even put my arms around you. Well, I can put mine around you. And you're the only one I want to put my arms around. Scotty, I know it's not going to be easy, but what marriage is? I know a lot of miserable couples, and um, none of them are handicapped. What if we have kids? Well, what about it? I couldn't do anything with them. You could give them what any good father gives. Love and knowledge. I'm talking about, look, I see fathers at the park running, playing football. If football was more important than love, then uh, how come all the football players on television yell, I love you, mom, when they're on camera? No, their moms didn't play football with them. I'm being serious. So am I. I love you, Scotty. I'm not going to beg you. But I think I would make you a damn good wife. What more can I say? You decide. I'm going to make it awfully difficult for you to say no. Diane? Yeah? I really love you. I'm just so scared. That makes two of us. But it's a good scared, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is.
Thanks, Scotty. How you doing? Okay. Hey, we just came from Diane's room. She's going to be fine. X-ray showed nothing. She's going home tomorrow. I know. The doctor told me. Hey, you know the other guy was drunk? You two were lucky. Yeah. We, uh, we understand congratulations are in order. Diane told us. Told you what? Oh, come on. Don't play Mickey the Dunce. It's about you two getting married. Yeah, well, you're a little premature. I changed my mind. What are you talking about? You know what would have happened tonight if somebody didn't pull us out of that van? She'd be dead now. She'd be dead because I couldn't do anything to help her. Oh, come on, Scotty. Listen. That... No, you listen. I've been kidding myself, but no more. I can't be a husband or a father. You know what I was thinking about just now? I was thinking I was in a park with my kid. He was sailing a boat, and he fell in. What the hell am I supposed to do, sit there and watch my own child die? Don't you see? She'd have to give up everything to take care of me, to wash me, to change me. She'd end up as handicapped as I am. Come on, you're just upset because of what happened tonight. No, it made me realize I've been kidding myself. See Diana anymore. You tell her. Don't you think you ought to be the one to tell her? For God's sake, just do what I ask. Now leave me alone, will you? Life is funny, isn't it? Diane first told me how she felt about Scotty. I thought, oh, boy, wait a minute here. You're making the biggest mistake of your life. I mean, I'd have given anything to hear Scotty say he wanted no part of getting married. I wanted it over. I wanted it over for her sake. And now? I think Scotty's making the biggest mistake of his life. Look on her face tonight when we told her it was off. Scotty didn't want to see her anymore. God, she loves him. She really loves him. I guess she looked past the handicap and saw the person. All his calls are being put through to the operator. I'm so tired of hearing, can I take a message? It's over. Mark, thanks for being here through all of this. Sorry, we have to go. Are you still leaving tomorrow? Yeah, I'm afraid we have to. Well, how about a farewell dinner tonight? All right. We get Scotty home by five. How about we pick you up at seven? Seven would be fine. I will see you then. Mark, when you see Scotty, tell him 
And tell him. Hell, I don't know. Tell him I'll keep my hands washed. Hey, Scotty, I promised an old friend of mine I'd stop by his house for a little while. Do you mind? I'm in no hurry. Who's the friend? Uh, just a guy I met a few years ago. He's real nice. I think you'll like him. Jack around? Yeah, he's uh, out back, uh, trying to avoid helping with this tent. Now, I gotta be honest, I don't blame him. The, uh, the frame is supposed to go on the outside. Oh. Great. <laughs> uh, Jack! Company! Come on, Scotty. We'll just be a little while. I'll wait here. I don't feel much like visiting. Oh, just come on in for a minute. You're gonna like this guy, I'm telling you. Jonathan, I don't want to. Jonathan! Hey, Jack! How you doing? Man, what a long time. Oh, it sure has been. How you doing? Good, good. This is my wife, Ann. A pleasure. Hi. And these are the kids. The big one there is Jack Jr. and Jason, John, and the toughest of all, little Dorothy. Ann wants to know if we can stay for dinner. I don't know yet. It's going to be up to Scotty. Hell no, I, I don't think that's crazy. Look, I agonized about putting this pool in. In my mind's eye, I kept seeing the baby fall in, and well, here I am. So what do you do? You be careful. In a way, I think it's safer for the kids. Being on wheels, you don't take anything for granted. But what wait, if... Wait, wait, wait. You can butt if yourself to death. What if this happens, what if that happens? But you can't do that. Nobody can. Gotta live life in the minute, pal. <laughs> That's funny. I used to tell New Wheels the same thing at the hospital. Well, it's a lot easier to give advice than it is to take it, isn't it? Look, Scotty, I know where you're coming from. I was scared. Annie was scared. Did you know something? Yeah. It's a good kind of scared, isn't it? That's right. <laughs> hey, Mark. Yeah? What time is it? By 30, why? I need to get to the store before it closes. Then I want to go see Diane, OK? You bet it's OK. Yeah, sure. I, uh, I thought Jonathan and Mark were picking you up. Yeah, they did. I asked them to wait downstairs. Look, I'll make this short. I, I've been a jackass, but I'm over it now. And if it's not too late, I mean, if you haven't changed your mind, I'd like to ask you to marry me. I, I'll understand if you say yes. no. I... Yes. 
Oh, yes, Scotty. Okay. Would you do something crazy if I asked you? Anything. Would you put your finger in my mouth? What? Your ring finger. Put it in my mouth. I love you, you crazy nut. It takes one to know one. You too. Jonathan, thank you. You have a great honeymoon. We will. Come see us. We'll do that. We'll see ya. You know what? That marriage is gonna make it. Yeah, it should. It's made in heaven. <laughs> 